What's up everyone? So now is the time for another custom room for OnePlus 8 series and other devices. And the one that we are going to have a look at today is called Havoc OS. So there are some really good things that I have to share with you guys about this room. So before we get to that, make sure you press the subscribe button so that I can keep making more videos like this one in future. First up right from the boot animation, things seem quite different on this one. And they really are if I compare it with Oxygen OS. So we don't have any sorts of bloatware with this one and the launcher here is Pixel Launcher as usual, which feels really fast and responsive. And I think the haptics are implemented in a really good way on this one. So they feel great and can be seen at more places than usual. From the home screen settings, you can hide your applications, customize the UI the way you like, as you do get the option to change system wide icon with icon packs. And you can get those from Play Store. So that's great and that's pretty much it that can be seen here. And I think it's sufficient for most users to be honest. Now if I talk about the gaming and performance aspect, well I tried all the normal applications that one uses from social media ones to the popular games like BGMI and COD. And if I talk about BGMI, well there were no problems with it as the device could handle it on smooth and 90fps setting. And the heat up is well managed but the device starts to heat after 20-25 minutes or so. The game ran smoothly at close to 90fps most of the time. And the experience is really good, I would say. Even better than Oxygen OS as the performance was consistent and I could breeze through all the games really easily. Similar for COD and other games, so there were zero issues with the gaming performance on this device after flashing this room. And that's a big benefit. We also get a dedicated gaming mode and an FPS counter with this room and you can disable your notifications, disable auto brightness and that helps a lot in giving a better experience while gaming. And I appreciate those features a lot. Next up in the battery life, well it has been good so far and I get around 6 to 7 hours of screen on time on 120Hz, which by the way works on most of the applications, unlike Oxygen OS. So it does give up some good screen on time on 120Hz. And in case you are wondering, yes, Warp Charge 65 also works and you even get the voltage and current readings on your lock screen. So no issues with that as well. Also an important thing that many of you asked for, yeah, this one has the OnePlus camera application with all the features working in normal mode as well as in the video mode. And the image quality is quite similar to Oxygen OS. But for that, of course, I would recommend a Gcam mod. Coming to the features part and for that, let's jump into the settings. So first up, we have the usual interface from clean stock Android but the features it has are quite a bit. So in the config center, we have the status bar options first. In here, you can tweak the clock, add brightness control, and we also get the options to show network indicators. And you can basically control anything you want from icons to icon styles and whatnot. Next up in the quick settings, you can tweak the number of rows and you even get the smart pulldown and quick pulldown option to customize how you interact with the quick settings bar. Next up in the lock screen, you can show up the charging stats and other elements and there is even an option to use a fingerprint in lock state itself. So that comes in really handy from time to time. You also get the ambient display and some tweaks like raise to wake and the hand wave gestures are also there just in case you use them. We also get the edge lighting feature and various controls to customize it as per our taste and that works fine too. Something interesting I saw is in the battery savings tab and here we get a lot of good features to choose from. In the sleep mode settings, you can practically disable every other thing from location to sensors to Bluetooth and whatnot while your device is sleeping, which is really great in case you are traveling and want to make the most of that available battery. Another good feature that I found is the smart pixels and in this feature, the device will disable the amount of pixels that you wish to. And this will save a bit of the battery juice in case you don't care about the pixel density. And I find this to be a really smart feature. Another thing that you will like about this one is the ability to make any app into full screen, which was just not possible on Oxygen OS. As you can choose from a limited amount of applications, but with this one, there is no such issue. And you can change that in this full screen apps option. Apart from this, you get OnePlus specific settings like that DC dimming mode to prevent flickering in low light. 
and that high brightness mode to make the display a bit more bright on a sunny day. And before I forget, yes, there is a fully working Dolby Atmos built right into the software. And it works just fine and looks cool too. So a big thumbs up for that. Lastly, I appreciate the fact that you can even control the strength of vibration, something that is missing on OxygenOS. And you also get the lock screen gestures from OxygenOS as well. The rest, it gets monthly patches and quick fixes unlike the stock ROM. And for a freebie, we get way too much with this one. Like some of the other custom rooms, and I totally recommend this one over stock auction OS for a lot of reasons. Also, the instructions to flash this one are same as that of Evolution X, and I shared that some time back, so here is a card to it. So that's pretty much it for this video, and if you do end up liking this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and share this with your friends, and thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.